Remember back when you were a kid, your parents were always watching and concerned about who you hung around, who your friends were, who you spent time with, because they knew that the people you hung around had an effect on you, on your personality, how you acted, how you thought. You know, as we get older, that really doesn't change. Who you hang around, who you spend time with, has an effect on you. I want to talk about that this morning in your morning cup of inspiration. It was no different for the disciples. I was reading in Acts, the fourth chapter. I've been reading through this passion translation, which kind of gives a little different perspective. It's not as literal. It takes a few liberties in how it says what it does but it's still impacting. And in the fourth chapter, Peter and John were arrested for healing somebody. And they had to go before the courts and the high priests. And it was interesting that they were full of the Holy Spirit and were bold and courageous. And they're explaining what happened. And I wanna pick it up in verse 12. Listen to what Peter says to this council. He says, there's no one else who has the power to save us, for there's only one name to whom God has given authority by which we must experience salvation, and that's the name of Jesus. Now listen to this. The council members were astonished as they witnessed the bold courage of Peter and John. And further down in that verse, this is the key. Then they began to understand the effect Jesus had on them simply by spending time with him. That is so powerful to me. They, these were ordinary men. These were fishermen and tax collectors, not people that were raised knowing the scripture and versed in it. But they began to understand the effect Jesus had just by spending time with them. That's my challenge for you today. If you want to have the effect of Jesus in your life, you have to spend time with him. He can change our lives. He can give us wisdom. He can give us boldness. He can give us power to fulfill his word and his will for us just by spending time with him. I encourage you this morning, don't lose the impact that there is on spending time with Jesus. He can change your life. God bless. Thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration. And we'll see you next time.